Hi everyone, welcome back. So it's the 16th of December today and we got very lucky here in my neighborhood that we got some some snow the last couple of days. We got around 30 centimeters of snow at least, maybe more. And it's just a beautiful day. The sun was just out for a few minutes, but um, I just love snow at least around Christmas time, around January, after New Year's, you're just looking forward to, to springtime again. But right now it's just an amazing time and <sighs> pipe smoking, as I mentioned in earlier videos, is just something that I really enjoy in the winter time, especially around the holidays, Christmas time. I, I crave the pipe a lot. In the cold weather, I just crave pipe smoking a lot. Not so much in the summertime. It's actually funny since for me pipe smoking is something that I enjoy to do when I'm outside. So you should think that you would smoke more in the summertime since you would spend more time outside. But warm weather and pipe smoking just for me doesn't go hand in hand. So around this time is the time where I would smoke my pipe the most. I just... Uh, cleaned the, the, the driveway yesterday from all the snow and this is just one of the occasions where I would just enjoy pipe smoking a lot. So that was what I was going to talk a little bit about today. Today we're going to be smoking some blue capstan, straight Virginia. I've been mentioning this tobacco a few times in some videos. I just love the packaging and that it comes in, in these... Uh, Mm, the smoke's amazing. It's around six months since I uh, opened this pouch. And I really would recommend that you let this tobacco cure. It's very moist, fruity, and like it just settles when it when you allow it to cure, I guess you could say. This tobacco, when it's fresh out of the tin, fresh opened, it's not, for me at least, so present. It's, you need to let, it takes the edges off when you leave it in the tin for a while. And it smokes easier. And has, it's not so rough. The, the yellow capstan is even milder than this. Even though this is straight Virginia and should be quote unquote uh, mild. The blue caps that is actually, for me at least, I, I guess you, you would say it's a medium tobacco, but I small, smoke mostly mild tobacco. So for me, this is on the stronger end. It's a very nice straight Virginia. Let's get it rolling. I'm smoking my Savanelli pot right now. That was my first Savanelli pipe. And it's funny, like most people, they rotate their pipe. First of all, if you smoke the same pipe all the time, it gets soggy and dirty after a while and it needs to be rested. But if you rest the pipe for 24 hours, it's, at least for me, more than enough. So I actually have this habit that I choose a pipe and then I like it. And then I keep smoking it for like two or three weeks. That's my only pipe. And then I figure out, okay, maybe it's getting a little bit dirty now. And then I clean it and I leave it to, to dry after I clean it. And then I pick another pipe. So I am not... The type of guy that picks a, type, a pipe for each day, even though I don't smoke every day. I'm more, if there's a particular pipe that I really enjoy, then this is the pipe that I will be reaching for. Like, 
in a specific period. So I've been smoking this pipe for weeks now. And uh, then I just enjoy it more and more. And then I forget about my other pipes. So this is my favorite pipe at the moment. It's very light. I have my 786-73 that I enjoy just as much, maybe even more, but it's a bit more heavy, has a thicker stem. This is just very light and clenches very easily. The downside to this pipe compared to the other one, 673, is that this part has a very large ball diameter wise. So if you stuff it, you can clog it up very easily because all the, the tobacco very easily gets to the bottom of it. So you should pack this pipe very lightly. Hmm, funny that this tobacco, after it has it's been sitting for six months, this is, I think I've smoked maybe four or five bowls out of this tin since I opened it. And even though I enjoyed it, it has these edges when it was very fresh. Right now is actually the first time I can say it's 100% perfect as I like Virginia blends. It burns easier, that means it burns cooler. The sweetness is there's way more sweetness. It's not so spicy. Right now it's beautiful. So, it's Christmas time. Tomorrow will be my last day at work. And yeah, by the way, this fella in the background is our new cat. We got a cat around summertime my daughter wanted a cat very badly so she wished a cat for her birthday gift so we gave her a cat that we picked up at a farm we enjoyed it very much we just had it it was taking care of itself it could run in and out of the house and do whatever it wanted and we enjoyed it one morning we couldn't find it and in the afternoon I find it I found it on the down on the street a car had hit it, it was dead. So we had to bury it. But four days later, we picked up another cat, and this is the cat that we picked up at the same farm. By coincidence, the mother of our old cat just had a new, I don't know how to say it, but she just gave birth to another pair of cats. So this is, I guess, the sister. Maybe we can get to it. Come here. Like that. So, this is the cat. Hey! Oh. Cats are such a sweet, sweet animal. Yeah, don't destroy the camera now. <laughs> I think you can hear the cat sound going. Anyways. In just a little bit over, over a week it will be Christmas. And um, it's a funny season. I Some people hate Christmas, some people love it. I would say I'm on the, I'm the kind of guy that really enjoys Christmas. All the memories I have from Christmas as a child just is something that it sits very deeply in me. You enjoy the time with your family, all the traditions that, that you had. Here in Denmark we talk a lot about Christmas traditions that you do. All the stuff that you do like you did it yesterday, uh, last year. On this day we do this and that and it's like a routine during the holidays where we do the same things every year over and over eat the same kind of food and all these things you could say it's quite silly but 
we enjoy it very much. And as an adult, when you grow up, Christmas becomes different. Not that you not enjoy it, but uh, this magical sense kind of disappears. You, you, you want to ha have the same magical feeling about the holidays, but the feeling goes a little bit away. But it's funny when you get, when you have children, you re-experience this magical feeling. So I have a daughter, she's five and one, she's two. And uh, it's like reliving this Christmas time as you were a kid all over again. It's nice. So now you get to experience something that was now in the past, you get to re-experience that. And I guess that's some of the some of the joy that you get as a parent and as you get to relive the whole circle of, of life once again. So I guess we will see each other again during the holidays. I might upload another video. And uh, I hope, wherever you are, that you will enjoy this time. The expectations. And uh, just have a, have a nice time with your family and your friends. So, until next time, happy holidays.